Ciao everybody, I'm Carla Cristina and this is To The Beautiful You. Today we're going to be talking about food and I have a little piece of wisdom to share with you from Hippocrates. It says, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Now let us sink in. This wisdom has been provided to us for thousands of years and we're still not listening. There's a lot of videos out there saying that you need to diet. A lot of books that says that you need to diet so you can be healthier, live happier, and love your body. You guys, calorie restricting is not the answer. Um, I saw this video where it showed um, YouTubers showing their diet habits and I'm so sad. Um, makes me want to sad to be crying because um, and some of them it's about pills and how it keeps them from eating and they're giving out this advice to young people and if you're listening to me right now you guys you guys have to love yourself enough to give yourself the correct food oh my god I feel like crying because this topic is so it's so sensitive to me because I see the reason I started my blog is so I can make people feel better about themselves because there's so much negative energy coming to them and they just take it in and believe that's them. You guys, it's all about mental, it's all about the food you eat and the way you dress because it has to reflect who you truly are. I am currently eating a plant-based meal, a food style where I get to eat in abundance until my stomach is full. I can eat high carbs and not feel guilty and it's healthy for me this is what hypocrisy was talking about let the food of the earth be your medicine the earth is providing delicious plants delicious fruits and veggies that are supposed to heal your body your body is has all these systems inside it that's supposed to be fighting all the diseases that we live that we are fighting right now, like heart attacks and diabetes. And although people sometimes have these diseases, they don't take care of themselves. You can, I can see it in my own family and, and I, I hope that through the way I live, I can teach them a little, pass them the knowledge I've um, collected to educate themselves just so they can change their lifestyle. Um, plants and vegetables are here to heal you. They're not bad. Um, I think some of them have stigmas like the potato. I was talking to somebody and they thought the potato makes you fat. And it doesn't. It's here to make you full. <laughs> and our body has this um, thing of letting us know when we're full. So we'll stop eating. You know what? I'm done. You know, I'm good. I have enough energy for, for your cells to keep on doing their thing. And we ignore it through these videos they talk about calorie restricting they don't necessarily say calorie restricted but they eat small amounts and how is your life supposed your life supposed to be full with that um i remember looking at a video and she did like two little tacos with a little bit of beans and i looked at it and i'm like where's the beans what am i supposed to eat and she's like if you have enough calories for the day you can put cheese on it and i'm like how am I supposed to live with this? How am I supposed to be full? I'm kind of cranky when I'm hungry. And I don't want to be cranky. I don't want to be mean to people just because I'm not providing my body with the same, the amount of food it needs and nourishment. Nowadays, a lot of people are eating in abundance but are not full of nourishment. It's so limited because the way we eat processed foods, meats and dairies, and we think that it's healthy, we inc include it in our diet, so we are like trying to live the ultimate life, but we're over-exercising as well because we're trying to stay at, uh, at this thin image that the world's telling us to be, and so we limit ourselves in other ways, we, we over-exercise, and you guys, you guys need to love yourselves enough to give your guys the right amount of food delicious foods that you guys can eat in abundance till you're full because it's all mental and physical um let your body 
have what it wants to have. You don't feel guilty when you eat plants. It's not a guilt thing because I remember eating like maybe one too many um, enchiladas with lots of cheese and I felt guilty then guilty later and I didn't want to live like that. I knew the way I st the style I was living was not healthy so I educated myself. I remember working um, volunteering at a hospital because I did want to become a surgeon and I noticed the food that they give their patients because I'm supposed to feed the patients and it was not healthy. There's limited amounts of vegetables and there was a lot of meat, a lot of dairy. And it seems like our medical experts are not up to date as yet. They, this knowledge has been provided to us for thousands of years and we're not listening. If you guys want to live a happy life and give your body the amount of energy it needs to heal itself to protect you from illnesses, give it a plant-based diet. You will not feel guilty, you guys. My life is already changing. Diets do not work because they're a short amount. You expect a short amount of, of time is going to change your, your future your life how is that supposed to work you go on this diet you bench you go on this diet and you bench and you get you gain the weight back how are you supposed to, you're always going to be thinking about weight and food in your head and oh my god this food is going to be make me fat um i'm going to gain weight and you're supposed to be enjoying what you eat you guys you guys need to change your mentality about food. Food is medicine. Food is good for you. The food that was given to you by the earth is good for you. You can eat rice. You can eat potatoes. You can eat an abundance of fruit because there's so many different kinds all over the world. You can eat it and feel full. Your body tells you. Just, you guys, remember not to restrict your foods you're actually harming your body more when you listen to these diets where it says restrict your food and you only have to have a limited of foods, eat eggs, eat dairy, eat meat. Um, I will talk about it and my journey about becoming vegan in a different video. Um, and it all was through education. I educated myself. It started through a movement work because I want to improve better for you guys because the point of this blog is to make you guys learn what I learned and pass it on about how to feel good with mentality, with the way you dress, the way you eat, the way you talk because sometimes the way we talk, like the, the way you say I want to lose weight, everything that's lost needs to be found and so it will eventually come back. You just said it with your words. You have to say I'm releasing weight live a lifestyle not a diet a diet is limited and it's going to come back a lifestyle is eternal and, and you're just gonna be living healthy the rest of your life and living a happy balanced life you guys i hope this helped you guys um like i said i want to do a video about why i became vegan and another video about all this information that i learned during the summer because I made a lifestyle change this summer and it was a process and I will explain my process and what I learned so I can share with you guys the knowledge that it it's so much knowledge that it feels like I've been the summer's been a year like 12 months of me learning and being a student of life and I want to share with you guys if you guys want me to cover any other topics please leave it in the comments below and remember you have to feel good to look good. Till next time. Ciao.